Hi, it's Dr. Cohen and Walter here, giving you a little update on the head. Sure, headaches suck. Head pain is terrible. In the past, I've talked to you about jaw issues and how jaw pain or jaw restrictions can lead to headaches. Today I wanted to expand into other head issues that we commonly see here. And that leads us to talk about the sutures on the top of the head. So the sutures are basically like faults in the ground. I'm in San Francisco, so I'm always thinking about faults in the ground um, and earthquakes. But faults in your skull allow a little bit of movement. So it's tough to tell, but there is a small amount of movement and that happens as you breathe. It's much more noticeable on children. So if you've ever hung out with a newborn, you can actually feel the sutures under your hand when you're touching their skull. As we get older, they get closer to cl and closer together. So the fissures sort of almost connect fully, but there's still a little bit of movement here. And as you breathe in, it expands a little. As you breathe out, it contracts a little. Now that becomes a problem if you end up clenching your jaw a lot. It can end up pulling and jamming some of the sutures in the skull. It can also be a problem if you bump your head. Now this is a strange one because as adults, we don't commonly think of bumping our heads. We kind of think that never happens. That's just in the nursery rhymes one fell over and bumped his head. Um, but I see this probably four to six times a month where someone has very strange pain patterns as a result of them hitting their head. Sometimes they hit their head at night. Sometimes they hit their head during sex. Sometimes they hit their head getting out of a trunk of a car carrying things. So um, most of the time, and it's pretty peculiar, when I ask them, have you bumped your head or have you hit your head into anything? They say no. Um, I'll do some other tests and I will say, are you sure? And they'll say, I can't think of any reason why I would have bumped my head. And I always say, okay, just over the next 48 hours, just think back, maybe ask your partner if you might have bumped your head. And I would say 75% of the time, they drop me an email and just say, Oh my God, I can't believe I forgot this. It felt like such a huge deal. I did bump my head last weekend. Um, I had, had a little bit to drink and I sort of walked into my pull-up bar. Whatever it is, there's always a, a story behind it. Um, and it's really uh, potentially hazardous because of the way these sutures can get jammed. So it's not the typical chiropractic crack, crack, crack to get this fixed. Sometimes it's gentle craniosacral movements in conjunction with your breathing that is game changing. It will decrease the likelihood of your headaches. Um, if this is the culprit, it will decrease even sometimes pain far away from the skull because of the fact if your brain isn't able to move the way, not move, isn't able to get the blood flow around it the way it should, it can cause some funky, funky, weird things. So the reason the sutures kind of expand and contract is it's allowing the cerebrospinal fluid to move around your spinal cord and your brain easier. It's the pump. It's allowing nutrition and oxygen to move around the way it should. So um, with that said, it, is something you should pay attention to if you bang your head. Make sure you mention it to your provider. Obviously, it's not always a big deal, um, but if you have a chiropractor who is good at picking apart cranial sacral stuff um, and exploring how jaw, jaw range of motion can affect everything, it can be an amazing clue to get you out of pain faster. So to recap, um, make sure that if you hit your head, these, the bone here is really thin. So if you bang it hard enough, it will jam things up. And so mention that to your provider 
have them take a look at it, make sure that things are moving the way they should. Um, most of the time it's no big deal, but sometimes it is, and that can be the cause of serious issues. So with that, I would encourage you uh, to explore our other videos, particularly the jaw video, but if you have any questions and happen to live in the Bay Area, I'd love to chat with you. I offer a free complimentary consultation, and if I can't help you, I'll help point you in the right direction. But for now, signing off. Have a fantastic day. Take care.